Phuket, where paradise meets culture. Picture this, powdery white sand beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and swaying palm trees. That's Phuket for you, Thailand's largest island and a tropical paradise that draws millions of sun seekers each year. But Phuket isn't just about lounging on beaches and sipping cocktails. It's a place where the beauty of nature collides with rich cultural traditions, creating a vibrant tapestry of experiences. This island pulsates with life, especially during its many festivals. The air is thick with the scent of incense and street food. The sounds of temple bells mingle with the rhythmic beats of traditional music. What sets Phuket apart is how seamlessly it blends the old with the new. You'll find ancient rituals being performed just steps away from bustling nightclubs. Let's kick things off with a bang. Or should I say, a piercing. The Phuket Vegetarian Festival is not for the faint of heart. Forget your notion of a quaint little veggie fair. This is a nine-day spectacle of devotion, endurance, and some seriously intense body modification. The festival, held in the ninth lunar month, usually October, is rooted in Chinese Taoist beliefs. Devotees believe that abstaining from meat and other stimulants will purify their bodies and minds. But here's where it gets wild. To prove their devotion, some participants perform acts of self-mutilation that would make even the most hardened viewer wince. We're talking about people piercing their cheeks with swords, walking on hot coals, and climbing ladders made of knife blades. For the devotees, this is a deeply spiritual experience. They believe that by enduring this pain, they're taking on the suffering of others, purifying not just themselves, but their community. The streets come alive with processions, firecrackers, and the tantalizing aroma of vegetarian cuisine. The food alone is worth the trip. Think steamed dumplings, stir-fried vegetables, and tofu dishes that'll make you forget meat ever existed. If the vegetarian festival is Phuket's intense spiritual experience, then Songkran is its playful, carefree cousin. Held in mid-April, Songkran marks the Thai New Year. And let me tell you, these folks know how to ring in a new year. Picture this, entire streets transformed into watery battlegrounds. Everyone, and I mean everyone, armed with water guns, buckets, and hoses. No one is safe. Even the usually stoic Buddhist monks get in on the action, blessing people with gentle sprinkles of water. The water symbolizes purification, washing away the old year's misfortunes and starting anew. There's a beautiful ritual where younger people pour scented water over the hands of their elders, asking for their blessings. And then there's the food. Street vendors line the roads, offering everything from spicy som tam, green papaya salad, to sweet mango sticky rice. The air is thick with the aroma of grilled meats, fragrant curries, and the unmistakable scent of durian. It's a time when families come together, strangers become friends, and everyone lets loose in a joyous, watery celebration of new beginnings. As the calendar turns to November, Phuket undergoes a magical transformation. The frenetic energy of Songkran gives way to the serene beauty of Loi Krathong. This festival of lights is like stepping into a fairy tale, where thousands of twinkling lights dance on the water and float into the night sky. The heart of Loi Krathong is the Krathong itself, a small floating offering typically made from a slice of banana tree trunk, adorned with folded banana leaves, flowers, candles, and incense sticks. As night falls, people gather along the beaches, rivers, and lakes. With a prayer or a wish, they release their krathongs into the water, creating a mesmerizing sea of flickering lights. In recent years, it's become intertwined with the Yi Pung Festival, where thousands of sky lanterns are released into the night sky. Imagine standing on a beach, the warm sand between your toes, as you watch these glowing paper lanterns rise into the darkness. Couples release krathongs together, believing that if their offerings stay close as they float away, their love will last. From sweet coconut pancakes to savory grilled seafood, the flavors of Loi krathong are as enchanting as the lights themselves. Section 5. Phuket King's Cup Regatta, sailing into glory. Every December, Phuket's pristine waters become a stage for one of Asia's biggest sailing events, the Phuket King's Cup Regatta. 
This isn't just any boat race. It's a week-long spectacle that brings together sailing enthusiasts from around the world. Picture a horizon dotted with billowing sails, sleek hulls cutting through azure waters, and you'll start to get the idea. The regatta was first held in 1987 to celebrate the 60th birthday of the late King Bhumibol Adelyadej, a passionate sailor himself. Since then, it's grown into a major international event, drawing top sailors, luxurious yachts, and spectators from every corner of the globe. The event transforms Phuket's beaches into a playground for the sailing elite. Lavish parties, gala dinners, and live music performances create a festive atmosphere that extends well beyond the water. Even if you're not a sailing aficionado, the regatta is a sight to behold. The sheer beauty of these vessels in full sail is breathtaking. Section 6, Patong Carnival, an explosion of colors and joy. Every year, usually in November, the famous Patong Beach transforms into a riot of color, music, and celebration for the Patong Carnival. This three-day extravaganza is like Mardi Gras, Carnival, and a Thai street party all rolled into one. The carnival kicks off with a grand parade that would put Rio to shame. Floats adorned with intricate decorations and costumed performers wind their way through Patong streets. You'll see traditional Thai dancers in glittering outfits, stilt walkers towering above the crowd, and even the occasional elephant. The entire beach road becomes one giant party zone. Street performers showcase everything from fire eating to break dancing. Food stalls line the streets, offering a smorgasbord of local delicacies. As night falls, the carnival kicks into high gear. Fireworks light up the sky, their colorful explosions reflected in the waters of Patong Bay. Live music stages feature everything from traditional Thai music to international DJs. Section 7, Chinese New Year, Dragon Dances, and Red Envelopes. Given the island's significant Chinese heritage, this festival is a big deal here. It's a time when the streets of Phuket town are awash in red, the color of good luck and prosperity in Chinese culture. Lanterns sway in the breeze, firecrackers pop day and night, and the air is thick with the scent of incense and anticipation. The heart of the celebrations is in the historic Old Town, where beautiful Sino-Portuguese buildings provide a perfect backdrop for the festivities. The narrow streets come alive with dragon and lion dances. Dancers in elaborate costumes weave through the crowds, leaping and twirling to the beat of drums and cymbals. Families gather for reunion dinners, feasting on symbolic dishes like whole fish and dumplings. Street food takes on a festive twist, with vendors offering special New Year treats. One of the most charming aspects of Chinese New Year in Phuket is the tradition of giving and receiving Ang Pao, red envelopes containing money. Section 8, Baba Wedding Festival, a peek into Peranakan culture. This isn't just any wedding celebration, it's a vibrant showcase of Phuket's Peranakan heritage. The Peranakans, also known as Baba Nyonya, are descendants of Chinese immigrants who settled in the Malay archipelago centuries ago, creating a distinct culture that blends Chinese, Malay, and Thai influences. The festival, usually held in June, is a recreation of a traditional Baba wedding. The highlight is a procession where couples dressed in elaborate traditional costumes parade through the streets. The brides, in particular, are a sight to behold, adorned in intricate gold jewelry and headdresses. Every aspect of a traditional Baba wedding is meticulously recreated, from the tea ceremony to the Tai Q game. It's like stepping back in time, witnessing customs that have been passed down through generations. Peranakan cuisine is a unique fusion of Chinese and Malay flavors, and this is your chance to sample some of its finest offerings. From spicy sour Assam laksa to rich and creamy Nyonya curry, your taste buds are in for a treat. And don't miss the colorful Nyonya kue, traditional sweets that are as beautiful as they are delicious. Section 9, Phuket Old Town Festival Celebrating Heritage. Held annually in February, this event is a love letter to Phuket's diverse heritage showcasing the unique blend of Thai, Chinese, and European influences that have shaped the island's identity. The festival transforms the already charming streets of Phuket Old Town into a vibrant open-air museum. It's a celebration of the island's rich history and cultural diversity.